Hello everyone out there, this is a tour of my li library here at the Oxford Public Library. Right now we're in the children's department. These are all the non-fiction books. Telling you how to like do stuff. There's an art book and bam boom biographies. These are biographies on this shelf right here. These are the non-fiction. Maybe come this way. Get more into the main section. Juvenile. Here are the main computers for the kids. Anyone who is under, I think, either 13 or 15, we get on these. As you go for the back, into the little children section. Back here are all the little easy to read books, picture books, stuff like that. These are awesome looking chairs. So the person, really cool. Back here, this is our little story time room where the children's director, Miss Barbara Matter Meters Matters uh, Miss Barbara is what we call her. She tells stories to all little kids, usually during the summer. And back there's our puppet stand. Lots and lots of different types of puppets. Okay, now we're going to head back through the children's section. Okay, and after you pass colored shelves, you enter the juvenile. The juvenile is separated from the thing by the colored shelves and by these two stands. This one and this one with the, all the comics. As we step into here, we are now in the youth section of the library. These are all the fiction books of youth. I mean, these right here are the biographies. But as we step over this way, go into the anime and manga and stuff like that. Over here are the. I'm making a video of the library. Over here are all the non fiction. Here are some youth magazines. Not most. all the audio books. So if you don't like to read very much, you can take one of these, pop it in your CD player, MP3 player, and just listen to it from there. Throughout the library, there are several desks and nice comfy chairs. These are like the most comfy chairs in the entire library. If you ever get the chance to come by, you should sit in one of those. Over here are some magazines, and those are some more adult books. Here is the search computer. Just click right there. Just type in the author, the title, or what type of book you're looking for, and it'll find it for you. Here are some CDs with music. Books. Books, 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 books. At the front of the library, there are two sections for TVs. Over here, on this wall, are children's TVs, any kind of little kids' movie or whatever. And these non fiction DVDs. And over toward that way are adult Okay, now we're going to take a look upstairs. We're going to take the stairs on the other side, right across from the stairs, is an elevator. But the elevator really says, I would say, just take the stairs. These are more adult books, non fiction. What's you doing? Making a video of the library. Uh huh. Do you like to be in it? 
Not especially now. Okay. <laughs> Here is the Oxford room. That's pretty much everything about our city, Oxford, and like historical wise and stuff. A bunch of plaques and historical picture. There's an old map of Oxford right there. Right now we are on the second floor of the library. This is a very historic desk. It said, said that this desk was owned by one of the mayors of Oxford. Really cool that we got there. More historical papers. That's rocks. Well, these were hand painted piles with presidents oh. pictured on them. Name a few, I think. George Washington's in there. Abraham Lincoln, Kennedy. And right here are yearbooks. Most of them are from Oxford. And you can see by Yellow Jacket. Now as you get right down this way, there is one special school. Trinity. Going this way. These are, I think, still adult nonfiction. Yep, see, nonfiction. <laughs> Get further back, it's a novel, stuff like that. And back here are fiction books. And this is the main desk from one of the librarian sets. Elevator. Or make things. Hello, Mr. Patrick. How are you Hello. doing? I'm good. All right. What you doing? I'm making a video of the library. Oh, that's a very good fact. I'm putting it on the computer to let people know oh. all the stuff that's in the library. Oh, okay. You show the Oxford room. Yes. And the bathroom. Well, I haven't done that yet. The chair and the bathroom. Yes. And many people. Up here is the front desk where you can check out your books and movies and what else not. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna head back to the tomb pack again. Okay. I'm gonna ask one of the librarians about how to get a library card. Let's see if she can help us. No. Okay. I was gonna video. I'm bored. I was going to tell people how to get a library card. How to get a library card? <laughs> how to get a library card? I don't know. <laughs> okay. Where are we going to show this film at? YouTube. Oh, um, no. If you don't want your face, I won't put it in there. We're not putting the spot wrong, it? But to get a library card, you need a driver's license, a valid driver's license and a piece of postmark mail or your tag receipt usually in your vehicle as long as you're an adult. If you're a child, you'll have to bring your parent with you to sign with you for the card. Okay? Okay. That's and what you need. 
that's how to get a library card. Well, looks like I'm almost out of time, so best be going now. See y'all guys later.